Right, oh, we're on the move again. We've just come into Kalbarri and we've uh, dumped the dunnies and uh, filled up with water. Where are we going? We're going to go and check out Lucky Bay Campground. Uh, the wind's dropped right off, which we weren't expecting, so hopefully it's actually going to be pretty nice. Yeah, I'm actually really keen to get to a beach that's not blowing 40 or 50 k's an hour. So keep your fingers crossed. It's going to be good. <laughs> hopefully. We'll see. It's only 45 minutes drive, so... Yeah, if we can't get in there, we'll jump on Wiki, have a look around, we'll find something else. Yeah. But um, it's looking good and promising. So, decent little dirt road in. Didn't drop the tyres down or anything for that. Uh, stop in at the Ranger station. Erin's just doing the little payment now. There's an honesty box if the Ranger isn't here. Obviously, they're out patrolling at the moment. And then we head on in. So, this one is 15 bucks a night per vehicle. So, it doesn't matter how many people, which is awesome. Bargain. Because normally we're paying for kids. Because you guys cost us a lot. Pesky kids. <laughs> That's good. I really like that. All right, we've got ourselves in a little bit of a situation. We're a little bit stuck. So, all the camps out sites down here, there's a lot of hard packed ones on the other side. Um, and it's not really where we want to be. We want to be closer to the beach. So I've pulled in here, low tire pressures. I've dropped them down, but we've stuck straight down. She's pretty soft. So, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do. I mean, it's not bad in here, but it's not really where we want to be. We want to drop the van off go have a little search around and see if we can find a good site. But I'm gonna have to get out of here first. We'll get our two tracks off, eh? Just gonna drop them down even more. I was down to 20, so I'm just gonna drop right down to about 15 or even a bit lower. And have a bit of a dig. The worst thing is, we've got two more of these sitting about half an hour away in Geraton. <laughs> They've been waiting for ages. And, uh, wish we had them now. Backwards, it's not working. <laughs> Time to try forwards. Tread. Well, there we go, guys. Lesson learnt. Um, What's the lesson? Don't get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Have four tracks with you. <laughs> well, if you thought getting bogged was bad, have a look at this disaster. You creamed on the floor. I'm so cranky. <laughs> I don't even know where to start cleaning that up. <laughs> and that was like a whole thing of cream for like a dinner. Oh well. We don't have a lot of supplies for right now. You know what they say. What do they say? Cream falls out of fridges. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, we got all set up yesterday and um, stayed inside the bed because <laughs> Tell you what, the wind found us and it is just bloody howling here. How is it? Freezing. <laughs> Let's be honest, we're trying to make the most of this, but it's <laughs> <is so d> <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. It's hard because you see these beautiful beach camps and they look amazing and you want to go experience it. But yeah. we're just, we're learning that if, if you check your weather Whoops. apps and it says it's windy as, just 
don't go. It's just not <laughs> worth it. <laughs> right, so we've made the decision that we're uh, we're going to get going today. It's just still way too windy. We can't enjoy any of this stuff. We're going to avoid the coast if we look up the wind app and it says it's just blowing a decent amount. It's just it hasn't been good, has it? No, we've pretty much been inside the whole time. Pretty much, yeah. But um, we've come out for one more drive in the morning. Just take Erin around the sand dunes because I did it with the kids the other day, just as a muck around, and Erin uh, hasn't seen it. But did you it's do this quite bit? cool. Yeah. Okay. Aaron's freaking out. This is quite steep. <laughs> it's so steep. I, I don't know if you can even she's, like tell. She's peeking. It's, it looks like it's just going to go kind of, uh, me. <laughs> Hey, these sand dunes are really... Oh, sorry, go, Belle. I thought like I was going down a roller coaster. Yeah. I did. These sand dunes are quite cool, eh? There's heaps of room, heaps of area to explore. There are some people camping around here, so just be careful you're not ripping over a dune and someone's down the bottom. But um, good views once you get up the top. The sand on the beach here is super soft too, so if you're coming out here driving, there is a sign that tells you to drop your tyres, but just drop them right down. It says 20, but I'd even go lower, because some of the bits up the end near the point are really boggy. Have a go at that, guys. The pink lake. What do you reckon, kids? Cool. <laughs> They're so enthusiastic. <laughs> Hey, it is proper pink though, like not a little bit pink, not a tinge of pink. Like pink. Fluoro pink. Yep. Uh, so this is near Port Gregory. Now we're not going to stay in Port Gregory, we're just going to drive in to look at this. Um, and then we're going to head halfway back out to the highway, get off the coast a little bit, and we're going to go to a little farm stay. I, um, the name of it has escaped me, which is... El Benjo. Okay, cool. That's the go. <laughs> I knew it started with an E. Uh, it looks really cool. They've got heaps of farm animals and stuff, so we'll uh, have a look at this lake and then we'll cruise out there. Erin's just getting the drone shots now. It looks incredible on the drone. So pink. Have a look at it. So I've just read up, the reason that this is pink is not necessarily because of the salt, it's because of the, oh, I'm going to get this wrong, carotenoid producing algae Dunalea <laughs> Selena <laughs> in the lake, which is a source of beta carotene and vitamin A. This algae is used as a colouring agent in foods and cosmetics. So there you go, it's an algae that makes it pink. There you go, we all learned something today. Anyway, that word algae makes it pink. <laughs> 
very handy little tip for when you're in Port Gregory. Make sure you poo on the toilet and not under the trees. <laughs> I love the detail too. Got a little poo there, just so you know. <laughs> That's the first I've seen a sign like that. <laughs> hey, so we've got another little stop, only about oh, a kilometre and a half from where we just were at the Pink Lake, or Hut Lagoon. It's the Convict Firing Depot. I had no idea this was even here. Uh, it's just off the highway. I didn't know convict hiring was a thing. I thought they were made <laughs> to do stuff. No, but they've got some very well-preserved buildings here from the 1850s. So we'll have a little walk around and uh, check it all out. Now that's a very straightforward sign. I wonder why just barley too, whether that's just left over from COVID. Well, that was a cool little stop in. Yeah, a little surprising one, wasn't it? Mm. Lots of buildings there. Um, apparently it only operated for three years, 1853 to 1856. So a lot of the buildings weren't even completed until 1855 and by then it wasn't happening anymore. There is a few more things to see there as well, uh, but we didn't go in. If you go in there, it's a farm stay and uh, you've got a few other things, but yeah. we're pretty keen to get going and get to this other place that we're going to stay at. Yeah, it's already 1.30, so still got some driving to do yet. Well, this is us set up at El Benjo and have a look. We are the only bloody people here. How good. Um, we're probably just going to stay here the one night. We've got the farm tour booked in for the morning, or I should say animal and bird tour. So they take you around on this little uh, train contraption and show you the um, birds and animals that they got here. It's a very cool landscape here. You've got all these uh, mountains surrounding us, but um, the flies, oh my God. This is the most flies we've seen in a very long time. Anyway, just something you have to deal with. But um, we're just spending the Arvo, just chilling out really. Erin's made a damper, so we've got one on the go now. Oh, that's about ready. So that's a savoury damper, cheese and something. What's in that damper, Erin? Cheese and herb. Cheese and herb, oh. And then she's made some little chop chip ones as well gotta get looked after and the kids obviously anyway got this little setup at the back of the caravan too hey kids Hello. it's a pretty quirky little place um, they've got some really good facilities we've got showers and like a camp kitchen that's really well set up um, yeah good little joint we're only about less than an hour away from Jarrow now um, we're just waiting a few days before we can go to Geraldton to uh, uh, stay at the house that we're going to stay at there with uh, friends. So, yeah, we'll be there in no time. Oh, look at that, guys. These ones going in. You've probably already seen before, but I always push that in when it's a bit windy. It just protects it. The Weber just blows out so easily. I've, um, yeah, never had a good run with the Weber staying a light. I don't know if it's my one in particular or it's just a Weber thing. Yeah, don't know. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm. Is it good? Tastes good, yeah. Can you give me a little bit of a spread, please? <laughs> no, just spread that out. That's all I meant. Oh. I thought you were, um... So I can do it one-handed. <laughs> Jeez! What? So many dirty references. Oh, I didn't even get any of those. 
<laughs> That's all you. <laughs> Filthy woman. There you go, you creep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. Oh. A little Absolutely. bit bent. <laughs> Only at the bottom. Mm. Alright, which one can I have? Any of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, mate. Oh, very hot. So is that a damper? Yeah. Mm. Damper chalk chip. I'm going to say muffins, but it's not. It's damper. supposed to be mini dampers, yeah, but I guess it is slightly different. It's kind of like a cross between a muffin and a damper. I, put sh I use sugar and milk instead of water. It's a duffin. A duffin. Mmm, it's good. What is this stuff falling out of the sky? <laughs> this is the first proper rain we've seen for months. Like, months I reckon. Probably three months. That's insane. And I guess we're going to find out how waterproof the Starlink is. Well, good morning everyone to a very muddy Albenjo. <laughs> Ended up raining a fair bit last night very different we it's it, like i said it's been so long since we've seen proper rain mm. it was nice going to sleep to rain on the roof it was but um this morning we're going to go on the animal and bird tour we're just waiting for our uh, chariot to arrive to <laughs> take us on the tour Ta -da! morning morning <laughs> So if you come past here and you want to come stay at El Benjo, definitely do the uh, bird and animal tour because you get, it was one-on-one -on -one for us because we're the only one people here, Yeah. but they only take small groups. Uh, so you get a very personal tour around their rescue animals. So I didn't mm. realize that at first, they're all rescue. Um, the, Benny and Jock are doing a great thing here. Uh, they are taking in all these animals <laughs> and the ostriches. That was the coolest thing. Like they're rescue birds. They were going to be eaten. Yeah. And they took them on. Because we didn't realise that um, ostrich meat was like a, like a farming kind They tried of... to farm it yeah. around here and it didn't work. That's why those no one wanted birds to eat were it. available. But yeah, very interesting. And we got to see one doing a mating dance. Yeah, that was so pretty cool. Apparently you don't really get to see that that often and, and hear that grunting, the, the mating call. So. Yeah, I don't think we got any of the grunting, but it was pretty cool. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Maybe we get a, a mating dance. Mm. <laughs> there you go but yeah no very good tour um highly recommend yeah and very nice people as well yeah so. beautiful people yeah 
Um, if you want to support them, just stop in here even for a night. That yeah. helps them out. Well, this they they fund all this themselves from this camping. So yeah, yeah. If you can help them out, do whatever you can. But um, we're going to go for a drive now. We're going to drive into Northampton, which is the next town up or down from here. That's only about 20 minutes away. And then we're going to decide what we're going to do. Yes, because we don't really know yet. No, we've got a couple <laughs> more days to burn before we go to Jarrah. Mm. And yeah, I don't know. The weather actually is meant to come good for a couple of days. Famous last words. I've said that a few times, but it's meant to be. We'll see. <laughs> 